Return of Jesus, Angels and the Computer, Revelation Chapter 15. I will explain Chapter 15 line by line. It describes the natural disasters that will be brought unto the enemy in support of Jesus Christ. Natural disasters are controlled through angels. To understand an important aspect of universal system, we have to know about these angels and the monitoring computer. Revelation 15 verse 1 Then I saw another great and marvelous sign in the heavens. Seven angels brought seven plagues, which are the last. For with these the wrath of God will end. For enemy, these are wrath of God. But for the army of Jesus, these are helps of God. Subsequently, we will find these are natural disasters. Verse 2 There was a sea of crystal mingled with fire, and the conquerors of the beast, of its name and the mark of its name, stood by it. They had been given the celestial harps. These conquerors of the beast are soldiers of Jesus Christ. They are 144,000 in number, taken from the Jews. It has been discussed in previous part. He stood by the seven plagues, meaning those natural disasters will be poured down in harmony of their offensive operations. Verse 3 And they sang the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb. Great and marvelous are your works, O Lord, God and Master of the universe. Justice and truth guide your steps, O King of the nations. Verse 4 Lord, who will not give honor and glory to your name? For you alone are holy. All the nations will come and bow before you. For they have now seen your judgments. Verse 5 Then the sanctuary of the tent of divine declarations was opened. Verse 6 And the seven angels bringing the seven plagues came out of the sanctuary, clothed in pure and bright linen, with their waist guarded with golden bells. Verse 7 one of the four living creatures gave the seven angels seven golden cups full of the wrath of God, who lives forever and ever. Verse 8 Then the sanctuary was filled with a smoke, which wraps God's glory and power, so that no one could enter until the seven plagues of the seven angels were completed. To understand the overall system, we have to know something about this sanctuary where the angels live. It was filled with the smoke of God's glory and power. Who could enter there? At first, I will discuss about angels. We know about three ways Almighty God controls His creation. Number one, God ordained and sustains all natural laws. He is running the universe through the natural laws. In this system, angels are employed. Number two, he is capable of doing something directly. He just say be and it is. But he seems to not use this direct power in routine day-to-day -day universal activities. Number three, he may also control through anointed one. He can extend his soul into a human and get a job done through that human body by overpowering his will. But God is most high. He does not use anybody and everybody for this purpose. Only Jesus is example. Body of Jesus was created holy. Here we find number one is the primary system to control the universe. I will discuss about this primary system further. Universe run on set natural laws ordained and held by Almighty God. 
initial configuration of the universe was as such that desired objects would form and move to the desired destinations through the process of evolution. In this system, humans move on their free will and that was predicted and written as fate. However, parts of human fates are imposed to coordinate his fate with others' action. But in finer aspects, some coordination and control was necessary. That is done by angels. Angels control from background without disturbing natural laws. As for example, the earth has system to produce clouds and carry them in different areas. Within the system, angels control using natural instruments. How angels are created? In this respect, only an example can be given. Soul of an atom is created out of three kinds of forces. Those are electromagnetic force, weak nuclear force and a strong nuclear force. We may say these three kind of forces in combination makes the force soul of atom. Then the soul of atom holds the particles like electrons, protons, neutrons, etc. and forms the atom. In the same way, souls of angels are combination of different kinds of known and unknown force fields holding light. Angels have different shapes, some like birds, some are with other shapes. Their size and shapes are according to their job. They have fixed knowledge. Components involved in angel activities. Those are golden altar, the computer of creations, in short CC, that includes Loho Mafuz, then Sidratul Muntaha, main angel waiting area, four main canals, fortress with servers and angel waiting area, also called sanctuary. I am going to discuss this sanctuary. To discuss this sanctuary, I have to discuss all components from the beginning. I will talk about golden altar at first. Golden altar. The sixth angel blew his trumpet. Then I heard a voice calling from the corners of the golden altar before God. It said to the sixth angel, who had just sounded the trumpet, release the four angels chained at the banks of great river Euphrates. Revelation, Holy Bible. Therefore, golden altar commands the angels. It said, release the four angels chained at the banks of great river Euphrates. Therefore, golden altar commands the angels. What is golden altar? Where it is? We know there are two universes. One is this universe where we are living now. This universe originated from a big bang. There is another universe named Jannat. Jannat is also called paradise. Be a foremost forgiveness from your Lord and the Jannat, the width of which is as the width of the skies and lands. In the Quran, skies and lands means universe. So, width of Jannat is equal to the width of the universe. Therefore, Jannat cannot remain within the universe. They are parallel universes remaining side by side. Because only a few will be saved, God created two worlds. Here worlds means universes. Instead of only one. Second address, chapter 7, verse 50, Holy Bible. Therefore, according to Holy Bible and the Quran, there are two universes. One is this universe where we are living now, another is Jannat. Jannat is full of peaceful planets. So it is called paradise. It is the natural home of human being. Human being has been created for, for Jannat. The universe is full of burning galaxies. It is natural home of genes. Genes are created out of fire. Other than these two creations, two huge creations, God, Almighty God has another big creation. That is called Arash. 
Arash extends over the universe and the Jannat. Arash is the headquarter of Almighty God. Golden altar is located in the Arash because according to Holy Bible it is golden altar before God. So it has to be in the Arash because it is golden altar before God. Hadith The first thing that was created by Allah was the pen. Allah then ordered the pen to write. The pen asked what should it write. Allah ordered to write the fate of everything. The pen wrote all those would happen from the beginning to the end. Al Hadith So there was a pen that was created at the beginning. Obviously, the pen was on the golden altar. The pen wrote on order of Almighty God, everything from the beginning to the end. It wrote at its own. From the Hadith we know it wrote on a disk called Loh Mahfuz. Loh means disk. Mahfuz means protected. So Loh Mahfuz means protected disk or disk that protects. Nay, it is a glorious Quran in a guarded disk. Loh Mahfuz, Al Quran. The Quran was also written by the pen at the beginning of creation, and it wrote the wrote the Quran on the disk. Therefore, the pen wrote everything on the disk. The pen write on the disk. If we add up this disk and pen and the golden altar, it makes a supercomputer. The computer of creations. At first, at, at first, God created this computer of creations. By this computer, He planned the creation. Then initiated the creation accordingly. We get description of this pen and disk system in the Hadith. It is similar to a man-made computer. Prophet said, the first thing Allah created is my soul. And the first thing Allah created is the pen. And the first thing Allah created is the intellect. Al-Hadith. This intellect is the software of the pen. This intellect wrote the future of everything by the pen. It means God created a computer and programmed it to plan the creation of the universe. So that people of old days could understand it has been said pain actually this pain is a component of a supercomputer computer of almighty god read in the name of thy lord who created created man out of a clot of congealed blood read and thy lord is most bountiful he who taught the pain taught man that which he knew not. Al Quran. The pen was taught, meaning it was programmed with necessary software. Prophet said, At the beginning there was only Allah. There was nothing except Him. His arash was established over the water. This water was created before the Big Bang, therefore, one cannot say yes or no about its reality. This water was created through a separate process of creation. This water was created for another universe that I have discussed, Jannat. Then he wrote details of creation in Loh Mahfuz, the place of remembrance, and created, created the skies and lands, meaning universe. Therefore, in this hadith, Loh Mahfuz has been called the place of remembrance. We often use our computer hard disk to keep record. We use our hard disk as a place of remembrance. One day angels were listening to Azazil. At time they looked at the Arosh and, and saw it was written there, Curse of Allah will be unto him who would be disobedient. Al Hadith. A computer has display unit. Loho Mahfuz has, has also display units located at different places of the Arash that near angels can see. The sixth angel blew his trumpet. Then I heard a voice calling from the corners of the golden altar before God. 
It said to the sixth angel who had just sounded the trumpet, Release the four angels chained at the banks of the great river Euphrates. Revelation, Holy Bible. A computer may have sound system. Golden altar also have such sound system. Golden altar is a component of that super computer. The first thing that was created by Allah was the pen. Allah then ordered the pen to write. The pen asked, what should it write? Allah ordered to write the fate of everything. The pen wrote all those would happen from the beginning to the end. Al Hadith. So it was an absolutely developed supercomputer, a rational computer that was created by Almighty God to plan and run the universe. Therefore, the, this disk, pen, and golden altar in combination makes the supercomputer. We, we may call it computer of creations. Almighty God planned the creation by the help of this computer, by this computer, and accordingly initiated the creation. At first, God created this supercomputer. God programmed the computer with natural laws. He gave it the initial state of the universe and the details of seeds it was harboring. Then ordered to write the future of everything, it wrote at its own all that would happen from the beginning to the end. It is called fate. God must have edited it and initiated the creation accordingly. Now it is fixed. Angels are employed in necessary areas. That is also pre-planned. Actually, God, God do not require anybody's help or help of anything. He just used this computer for a better doing of this, better creation of this universe. For indeed, he, here he is, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, saw him, that is Gabriel, at second descent, it is during Miraz. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, visited all the skies during Miraj. He also visited parallel universe, that is Jannat. He even visited Arsh. So during second descent, he saw Gabriel. Near the Siddhatul Mintaha. Siddhatul Muntaha means loti tree. It looks like a tree, so it is called Siddhatul Muntaha. Actually, it is not a tree. I will discuss, discuss it subsequently. Behind which none may pass. Near it is the garden of abode. This garden of abode is for waiting angels. It is angel waiting area. Behold, the Siddhatul Muntaha was shrouded. There were, there, were, there were many angels in the Siddhatul Muntaha, so it was shrouded. Sight never swerved, nor did it go wrong, for truly did he see of the signs of his Lord, the greatest. Al Quran. In these verses, we find two important things. One is Siddhatul Muntaha, another is Garden of Abode. According to Hadith, Siddhatul Muntaha is located at the boundary of the universe. So this is Siddhatul Muntaha. Then the Garden of Abode, this is Garden of Abode. According to Hadith, it is located beyond the universe. Garden of, Garden of Abode is main angel waiting area or main angel sanctuary. These two things are important. They are related to the computer of creations. From the foot of Siddhatul Muntaha, four canals are flowing. Two are flowing into the universe, two are flowing into the Jannat. These are not canals of water. These are channels through space. Whatever comes down from up comes to Siddhatul Muntaha. Whatever goes up from down goes to Siddhatul Muntaha. So whatever comes down from up comes to Siddhatul Muntaha. From up orders come. Orders comes from the computer of creation. Plan of God is translated into order. And these orders are sent to Siddhatul Muntaha from the computer of creation. So this computer of creation must be connected with the Siddhatul Muntaha. Whatever goes up from down goes to Siddhatul Muntaha. 
from the down means from the universe reports goes angels send reports through these canals therefore this sidratul muntaha is a communication hub from the end of these two canals that have entered into the universe many branches have originated these are the branches from the end of these two canals that have entered into the universe many branches have originated there are many branches originated from these two canals these are the branches from the end of each branch the, at the end of each branch there is an special object at the end of each branch there is a special object these are special objects allah is he who created seven skies and the lands and equivalent through the midst of them descends his command that ye may know that allah has power over all things and that comprehends all things in knowledge al quran so there are many special lands through the midst of them almighty god descend his command these are the special lands through the midst of those almighty god descends his command therefore we may call this special lands server or sanctuary as orders are descended through these special lands these must have computers that works as servers linked with the cc the computer of creations it also have sanctuary for angels who comes to execute the orders after performing the task, task angels report in these servers they do not go back as in the hadith they remains in this server or sanctuary forever the whole system can be compared with a big cybernetic system with cc or computer of creations as its head an angel goes to sidratul muntaha where is given a order or the angel is programmed according to his task by the sidratul muntaha then the angel is descended through these canals to its assigned server or sanctuary actually angels are programmed in group all angels for a particular period of time are summoned to siddhatul muntaha at a time and they are programmed at a time then the angels are sent to their assigned servers in packets the universe is minimum 25 billion light years across if the angels move even at the at the speed of light they should requ require billions of light years but these canals and branches have got special quality through these canals and branches angel carrying vehicles can move faster than light and reach to the server within 500 years from sidratul muntaha a angel carrying vehicle reach to its server assigned server within 500 years these channels have a special quality though through these channels angels carrying vehicles and information can move faster and reach to server within 500 years he rules affairs from the skies to the earth in the end will go up to him on a day 
the space whereof will be a thousand years of, of your reckoning. So from Siddhartul Muntaha, the angels and orders come to server within 500 years. Then the order is materialized. Then the angel report back to the server. And information goes back to Siddhartul Muntaha within another 500 years. Total 1000 years for a round trip. This is said in this verse. He rules affairs from the skies to the earth. In the end will go up to him on a day. The space whereof will be a thousand years of your reckoning. Al-Quran. So these canals and branches has got a special quality. Through this angels and their vehicles can move faster, faster than light. From the server, the, the objects it controls. The, uh, the server controls many objects. With those objects, a server controls several objects or may, maybe many objects. With those objects, server are connect, servers are connected with sub-branch. These are sub-branch. Servers are connected with the objects it controls with the sub-branch. These are sub-branch. The earth is also connected with the with a server. The sub-branch with which the earth is connected with its local server may be called earth's tentacle. This is earth's tentacle. With this tentacle, earth is connected with the local server. This is earth's tentacle. Earth's tentacle connects the earth at the dome of rock. Because dome of rock is honored. And angels coming from so far distance should initially see that people are involved in prayer. So they initially descend or they are descended on the dome of rock. The angel carrying vehicle come on over the dome of rock. Then the angels are released. From this place angels goes to their workplace. And after performing the task it comes back to the dome of rock and then goes back to its server. And those angels will remain in the server forever or till doomsday. They only reports the information to the server and remains there. They do not go back to the main server or main sanctuary. They do not go back to Siddhartul Muntaha or main sanctuary. They remain in the local server. More than usual number of angels are coming in a compact state. So the craft is visible sometimes, nowadays. Nowadays the craft carrying angels are visible sometimes. These are being called Jerusalem UFOs. You may watch it in YouTube. Something big is going to happen within several years. We know in near future Antichrist will appear. The world will undergo a major change. So lot of angels, more than usual number of angels are coming. Therefore. These angel carrying vehicles are visible sometimes. This is all about the system God has created to run day to day universe. But he personally is present everywhere. He sees everything. He hears everything. And he can do anything he wants to do at any place in no time. It is we who have set out the fortress in the skies and made them fair seeming to beholders and we have guarded them from every shaitan's accursed. But any that gains a hearing by a stealth is pursued by a flaming fire, bright. Al-Quran These servers or sanctuaries are also called fortress because these are guarded by guard angels. But shaitan jinns sometimes go into those servers 
and listen the inf information. When angels pass information among themselves, they steadily listen those, and they come to know the near future. Then they send on those, all those information to the earth, to their people. From this server, shaitan jinns can know the near future, but they cannot know distant future. Distant future is located in the computer of creation. Near future can be known from these ser servers. But when the angels come to know that shaitan jinn has come, they throw objects. Those are flaming fire, and the shaitan jinn jin is driven away. These are the sanctuary the verses are talking about. These are servers of the local sky. I will read out verse 8. Then the sanctuary was filled with smoke, which wraps God's glory and power, so that no one could enter until the seven plagues of the seven angels were completed. Shaitan jinns can go to the server or sanctuary. But when the seven plagues will come, they will not be allowed to go near to those servers or sanctuary. At that time, the sanctuary or server of the local of the earth will be filled with a smoke which wraps God's glory and power. Therefore, Shaitan jinns will not be able to go the server that deals with the earth. Antichrist will be supported by many shaitan jinns. This time they will not be allowed to go near to the servers, server that deals with the earth. So they will not be know knowing what is going to happen next. Therefore enemies of Jesus Christ will not know what is coming next. next. This is all about chapter 15 of Revelation, Holy Bible. Please visit part 8. Thank you.